Hey YouTube, here to do a video on uh, a couple of things, uh, namely my Beechwood tabby. I uh, also want to show you the wear and tear on my black tabby and also color comparisons and um, a newbie, a new to me newbie that I just picked up that I had wanted for a few, a couple of years now. So let's just jump right into it. So you guys know my uh, most beloved tabby. It is most used and worn. Um, I just grab this bag whenever I just need a quick run and I'm, you know, it just looks great with everything. It's a classic flap. Um, it's got gold hardware, a nice big chunky a C that is just classic to me. Uh, it'll look vintage. It'll just it doesn't really, it's not going to ever age because I mean, it's a classic, it's a flat back. Um, and it's structured for the most part, a tort at the bottom, the sides, the back. Um, but the flap is a floppy. Um, I have a couple of issues with, I shouldn't say issues, but I kind of wish the flap was less floppy, but I think I kind of see why they made it, made it so, so it wouldn't crease as much. You wouldn't have issues with the glazing, um, and it's microfiber lined and I hadn't had any issues with creasing or anything like that. And you guys know how the tabbies are at this point. Um, but just wanted to show you the wear and tear on my um, So I've had her now for a while and I would say she is have, has become my most used bag. I don't particularly um, pay really, I mean, I'm always careful with my bags. I don't just throw bags around just because, you know, they're bags and you spend money on them. Nope, I spend money on them so I'm gonna take care of them and I want them to last. There's a little uh, gunk there, I don't know what that is. Uh, but if I just, um, I'm sure that'll come out. Uh, I just got to condition her and she'll be good to go. So as you can see, um, she's, I don't baby her, uh, but I do stuff her when she's finished. Um, you know, I don't overly abuse the bag, but this is a worn, much worn bag. And that pebbled leather saves it from a lot of wear and tear. So if anyone is on the fence, I know these bags are on sale now. Um, of course it comes with the shoulder strap. It comes with a crossbody strap and it's just worth the money. Uh, so nothing on the, you can see the, I don't think there are any scratches on there. Not that I, I see anyway, but I care about and, uh, the inside and it just holds a lot. It really does hold a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so yeah, no issues there. So again, my only gripe about the bag is the floppiness of the flap. But again, I think I know why they did that. And it's not really, it actually makes it easier actually kind of to go in the bag. I guess it's not an issue for me after I keep, I keep talking about it. Cause you know, you can just go like this. If it was any stiffer, I guess it would be harder to go in the bag with it still on your arm. So yeah, love the tabbies. There's two more that I'm thinking of getting, um, but I love it. Great bag. So if you're on the fence, this is the regular size. I do not have one of the tabbies that I want is the 26, um, but we'll see if I get it. Um, but yeah, this is the regular size. It's a workhorse. It fits loads. And I also snagged it in the beautiful beechwood color. Yes, this year has been the year of beige and tans for me in bags. And she's gorgeous. I mean, the color is absolutely phenomenal. Again, brass hardware, um, same same thing. This one comes with, oh, look at that lining. Ooh, some sort of, I don't know what color that is, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I have not worn this one yet. Um, and it's absolutely amazing. You guys know what fits, I will link uh my videos for my tabby my black tabby um somewhere on here and of course it comes with the long crossbody strap very substantial strap love these straps i don't wear them because i don't wear this size crossbody it's more of a shoulder bag for me and this is perfect for spring summer winter anything but it's just so fresh so fresh i love it 
um, that back pocket. It's just a great bag. So these bags are on sale. Grab one if you are on the fence. They are worth having. They are worth the money. And they are just an easy wear. They're very easy to wear. Um, so I love, love the tabbies. And for color reference now, because Coach has a plethora of shades of cream, beige, nude, tan. So this is the Beechwood cover, uh, color. And um, this here is the, oh my goodness, what color is this? Taupe, <laughs> this is a taupe color <laughs> with the silver hardware. So I don't know if you can see any of any bit of a difference. I think that the taupe is more of a, I don't know, is it cooler? Yeah, and the, and the beech wood is warmer. I don't know. What, what, what do you think? This one has more blue undertones, I think. But uh, as you can see, there are two differently, vastly different colors <laughs> uh, and different hardwares. So there. Um, and to make it even more interesting, this strap is stone. The color stone. So you can see the slight difference between stone and taupe and then stone taupe and tan i mean and beechwood so i don't know everyone people may think they look alike i have of the opinion that they are at least have two different color uh hardware so you know there's my excuse and then to make it even more fun okay You've got elm. And elm, of course, we're getting a little darker. So let's put this in order. We've got, I think this is the lightest. Then you have this color as a hair. Now, now you can see a difference. I see a difference. Y'all see a difference. I see a difference. I do see a difference in the colors. Clearly, this is darker. And then you've got apricot. So that's a nice little spectrum there. Yeah just in case anyone wondered to know or finds this at all helpful. Okay, so this collaboration came out a few years ago, at least a few years ago, maybe two years ago, at least, I think. Uh, it was a Coach and Rodarte, Rodart um, collab, and I loved it, I loved it, and never really got anything from it. But just recently, I found this cutie on resale market and came with its dust bag. <sighs> Look at that. So gorgeous. This sequin Rodarte uh, pouch. It um, These little sequins are actually tiny leather pieces and it's got the gold, it's got the gold studding and it is absolutely stunning stunning i'm so glad i finally added it and it was i got it for 110 i think or was it 150 in which case it was a very good deal so it is a natural gloved tan leather all the hardware is so substantial really nice um I plan to use this. It's got the, hold on, it's got the, it's got the turn lock um, and it is just really, really gorgeous. And it has the coach, I hate to do this, Rodart Creed on a leather patch in there. And it's leather lined, leather lined with another zip pocket back there. Um, and it's just gorgeous. I plan to use this as um had to do the smell test because it still smells very nice um i plan to use it as a catch-all in this monster and it fits beautifully and did i show you guys my little chunk i think i did i showed you my chunky um keychain i got for this bag yeah so i plan to use this as a catch-all and then just take it out or i can use it as a clutch but I don't go out um and when i do go out i don't really tend to wear these um because they can get stained um but if i ever have a wedding to go to this would be obviously a pick but basically i bought it as a catch-all this bag um and i'm so glad i got it so this color i think might be peach i think okay so you can see the difference between the apricot 
and this color. So Coach really does, I love the spectrums of shades that they do because, you know, then you have the perfect excuse to buy the bag because it's not the same color, really. But anyway, super, super cute pouch. Glad I snagged it. It will go perfectly in here and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. So um, let's look, just for reference, uh, let's see what fits in these in these pouches. So I'm filming on my phone. Well, obviously, a phone's gonna fit in there. It'll most likely even fit in that um, that back pocket back there. That back pocket is big, so a phone will most likely fit in there. Sorry, and my kid has is being pacified with my work phone. So, um, so let's see what else. A um, uh, card case will certainly fit in that back pocket with room to spare. Um, another card case I have here will fit. I've got, I could do a catch-all within a catch-all. <laughs> Let's see. Oops, Louis Vuitton. Uh, is there something in here? Oh yeah, my card case. That'll fit in there. I mean, this thing is kind of really big. It's really big. And these come in, um, I'm going to see if I can find the, um, the dimensions for you guys because coach makes these all the time just maybe not in this style but they make you know not the pattern but they make the style all the time uh yeah i got another little card case in case i don't want to carry a bag to a full bag to work let's see if i can carry this clutch to work uh earbuds I can round that out huh this actually fits a lot <laughs> And that's pretty much all I carry anyway. Let's see, is that it? Yeah. Wow, clothes test. Um, oh, let me get my keys. Keys. All right, I'll just slip those, ah, slip them down still. Now, look at that, nice, nicely done. And it still has room on the top. Let's see if it closes. <laughs> it closes and it doesn't even give you a hard time. Wow, this is my first time actually playing with this. This is actually a very uh, handy item. Oh, yay. This has just opened up a, another world for me. Love it. I kind of wish that they came, that it had another loop here so that you could have made it a crossbody. Hmm. I'm going to figure out how to do that. Yes. But gorgeous. Great bag. Great little bag, guys. Yeah. So it fits and it, like a regular, it fits everything that I need for the day that I carry. Wow. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is that. Let me know uh, if you have any questions or comments down below and I'll be checking you guys out in my next video. Take care. Bye.